We're going to take a look in this video at some imperial conversions. The imperial system of measurement measures things in miles, yards, feet, and inches. And we're not really going to talk about miles. We're going to focus instead on yards, feet, and inches. So the abbreviation for yards is YD. The abbreviation for feet is FT. And the abbreviation for inches is IN. So we'll use these abbreviations as we go through. And before we get how to do these imperial conversions, there's a few that you should know right away. The first is that in one foot, there are 12 inches. And one yard contains three feet. Now, we can also put these two together, and if you'd like, you can use the conversion that one yard is equal to 36 inches. It's not necessary to know necessarily this one, um, but these two uh, you should know for sure. So in order to do these metric conversions, we're going to use a method called factor label. Factor refers to the number, and label refers to the units. And so to do that, I want to uh, do an example problem where we convert 15 yards into inches. And you can see already, I think, this one's going to come in quite handy. So if we need 15 yards into inches, then using factor label, the method is like this. We start out with the unit we want to get rid of, and or the amount we want to get rid of, and that's the 15 yards. I'm going to put that over 1. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that fraction by another fraction. And here, I want to replace yards. So if I want to replace yards in order to cancel the labels, or the units in this case, I put one in the numerator and one in the denominator. So I want to replace yards, and I'm going to go yards to feet. <clears throat> and you can see here, my yards are in the top and the bottom, and so they cancel. And now I have feet in the top. But I don't want to have feet in the top. I want to replace feet. So whatever you want to replace, you've got to put either in the denominator or the numerator opposite of the unit that you want to cancel. These feet are in the numerator. So in my next fraction, I put my feet in the denominator. And then I replace the feet with inches. And so I've done all my labels. And I look here, and I'm left with a final unit of inches. And so I'm good to go. What I have to do now is I've got to put my conversion factors in. So I know that there is, in one yard, there are three feet. And in one foot, there are 12 inches. And so I've circled my final unit of inches there. And so now I just have to do, I just have to do my math, which is 15 times 3 times 12. And 15 times 3 times 12 is 540 inches. Now, the only other thing I want to point out before I do the next example is if you look at these values here, 3 feet over 1 yard, because they are equal, really, that's like multiplying by a fraction that's equal to 1. The same idea if we took a fraction like 2 thirds and we could times it by 1 over 1, right, when we got our common denominators, and that didn't change the fraction. We still got 2 thirds. But if we multiplied by 4 over 4, which is still equal to 1 by itself, right, 4 over 4 is equal to 1, and we multiply straight across, we would get 8 twelfths. Well, 8 twelfths is exactly the same as 2 thirds. So this whole factor label idea is, again, similar in that really these numbers that I have in the red circles, even though the numbers aren't equal to 1 because the measurements are equivalent, 
uh, it all works out the same. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at another example where we want to convert three yards three yards plus two feet plus nine inches and I want to make that into a total measurement in inches. So I can start with the nine inches if I want to get one measurement in inches. Well I don't have to do anything with the nine inches because it's already in inches. And so now I have to look at the two feet. So I want to convert two feet into inches. So I put it over a denominator of one and now I'm going to multiply and feet is in the top I want to get rid of feet so I put my label of feet in the bottom and I want to replace it with inches and now you see my feet are gone my final unit is inches and then I insert my conversion factor and there are 12 inches in one foot and so now I simply just do my math here and 2 times 12 is 24 inches. And now I have 3 yards to convert and so I do it the same way. I want to get rid of yards and replace the label of yards with inches. Now you can do this in two steps or you can do it in one. Um, if you remember that there are 36 inches in one yard then you're welcome to do it in one step. And so one yard is equal to 36 inches and so this will give us 108, sorry about that, 108 inches. And so now we can have some more practice with adding numbers because our total number of inches would be 108 and 24 and 9. And so 8 and 4 is 12, 12 and 9 is 21, so we write the 1 and carry the 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4 and our 1 has nothing underneath it so this gives us 141 inches and just for a moment I want to look at this last one here and if I had started with 3 yards and I didn't remember that there was 36 inches in 1 yard the 2 that you have to remember for sure are that there are 12 inches in one foot and three feet in one yard. So we could have done it this way and replaced yards with feet. My yards cancel and then replace the feet with inches and then the feet cancel. And adding in my factors, I get three feet in one yard and 12 inches in one foot and you see this 3 times 12 here that's really what gives us our 36 there and so this would be 3 times 3 times 12 which is still 108 inches so that gives you an idea of how to do some simple conversions into totally inches and now if we try to go the other way in our third example here let's convert 64 inches into yards plus feet plus inches and if we look at that then we have 64 inches well we need to see how many whole yards and if we want to see how many whole yards that is we can start off with 64 inches times 12 inches in one foot. My inches are gone and now I want to replace my feet and we have three feet in one yard. And you notice that I put my factors and my labels together. Uh, as soon as you hang of that um, I think it'll come pretty, uh, come pretty easy. And so here we have in the numerator 64 times 1 times 1 and in the denominator we have 12 times 3 which is 36 
and so we now need to divide 36 into 64 and we know it will go one time because 2 times 36 is 72 and now we have to do our long division 1 times 36 is 36 we write it underneath and subtract and now we get some practice subtracting numbers whether they're decimals or whole numbers it doesn't really matter we can't subtract 6 from 4 so we need to borrow 1 from the tens column and put 1 in the ones column and now we have 14 minus 6 which is 8 and 5 minus 3 which is 2 so we've got 28 28 uh, one yard and then we've got 28 over 36 of a yard right so we have to see we have to see what's going to happen with that but we know for sure that we've got one full yard and now we we only have part of a yard left so we know that there are 12 inches in one yard or one foot and so if there's 12 inches in one foot right how many whole how many whole feet can we get when we look at 28 inches left over and so we can see here that if we have 28 inches and we'll put that over one times I want to get rid of inches and replace it with feet and so there's 12 inches in one foot and so I can do my division again and I get 28 divided by 12 feet and so that's going to give me once I do my long division again and you probably don't find this necessary but I'll show you anyways 12 into 28 goes twice and 2 times 12 is 24 and then we subtract and we have a remainder of 4 so we're going to land up with 4 inches left over and here is our two whole feet so 64 inches is one yard and two feet and that two came from here and then we have four inches left over and so we will have one yard two feet and four inches so that should give you an idea of how to convert uh, inches into yards feet and inches and that should give you some uh, some good information on imperial conversions.